I started out at um, a place called Southampton. I graduated from Southampton a couple of years ago. Um, Reuben will not tell you how many. You're embarking, most of you, on a career. And you're going to learn things here. And you will find, as you go through life, that something you learnt today that you thought was not that much value in the, fut in the future, you will pull it out of the air and say, ah, I know how to solve that problem. As you, or I know where to find the information to solve that problem. They had this program that ran on IBM mainframes, and I said, you need to change it to do this. And they said, well, we're not going to do that. So, but we need to do that, to we need to add this capability to your software. And they said, hmm, ma'am, it's not on our schedule. So I looked at the boss and I said, I'll do it. And you can imagine their reaction was, are you stupid? Um, they laughed and uh, a couple of months later I went back and said, how do you think this works? And they stopped saying I was stupid. <laughs> so I figured out how to model this and uh, program it. I'm trying to give you the idea of stepping stones, of how events happen. And, and it's not that you're immediately out of college, so that if you're thinking of graduating tomorrow and starting a, a company, that's great. But if you don't, all is not lost. And we get to talk about this company at the end, and he says, what do you think of that? And I said, but if they think they can build that with two and a half guys, they're dead wrong because uh, this is what exists. And they say they're going to compete with this. Well, that's a wrong idea to start with. But what they would have to provide in a product is far more than that. They're not asking for enough money. They don't have a large enough team to do this and so on. And he said, well, that's my thought exactly. And that's why I won't back them. He said, however, if you join it, I'll back it. And that was the beginning of SolidWorks. Um, and, it was, and you follow the pattern of that um, it's sort of the right thing happening at the right time. I had developed Pro-E, and then I uh, ran the development of, of, um, of SolidWorks. But after a little while, it's when the French had bought it, called the So System, um, I... Um, I kind of knew the story already because you could turn the page and you knew what was on the next page. So I did something else. And what that was, I got handed a company that they bought. Um, the customers were mad. The, there was no organization. Development ran wild and did whatever it wanted. To, there was no quality assurance. Uh, there was no consistency in contracts or pricing um, and so on. In other words, a complete mess. Um, after five years, it was profitable. And today it's wildly profitable. And this is uh, a company that makes 3D modelers. Um, but to fix it is harder than to create it. So if anybody ever asks you to fix something, it's much, much harder. A lot of things do that, you know? They they rise, they plateau, they get management and marketing, and then they fail. Okay? And unfortunately, that is the track record of companies. There's very few that keep going from strength to strength. One of them is called Intel. It started back in the late 60s and hasn't had a bad day since. And the reason is they reinvent themselves all the time. Very few companies that started then exist now. That's another part of the story. That why did SolidWorks win when there was a product in the market that was more mature? And the answer was it didn't have a single advantage. It had a lot of little advantages. It was on Windows. It was easier to use. It worked like office products. It was sold through re your friendly neighborhood reseller, um, and so on. And it was a lot of little reasons. Pro Engineer won because it had one big reason. You could do, uh, mo make models that could change and nobody else could. 
And so you either have to have one big reason or a lot of little ones, not just one little one. Oh, I'm a bit cheaper than the other guy. You won't win. You've got to have a lot of little reasons or one big reason. Nobody else can do this, and it's important to do it. Thank you.